here are six things trauma survivors may relate to. Number one, feelings of shame or guilt. Although there have been improvements in the understanding of mental health, there is unfortunately still a stigma around it, which can cause trauma survivors to experience shame or guilt. These emotions can prevent you from seeking the help that you deserve. Trauma is a normal emotional response to a shocking and distressing event, and it's your body's way of protecting you. It can be daunting and scary, but try to acknowledge how far you've come. You're still moving forward. Number two, decreased effect or numbing. Do you feel emotionally disconnected from your friends and family? A common byproduct of trauma is feeling numb. Feeling numb is your body's protective response to feelings of emotional pain. Psychotherapist Mayra Mendez explains this numbness as the mental and emotional process of shutting out feelings. Whilst this coping tool makes it easier to block out unpleasant emotions, it can also make you lose interest in fun and exciting activities. Sitting with a therapist can be a helpful way to dissect your trauma and help you heal. Number three, dissociation. Have you been feeling disconnected from your thoughts, feelings, memories, and surroundings? A different result of emotional trauma can be dissociation. This is another tool your body uses to help you handle an excessive amount of stress. Dissociation can feel unpleasant and isolating as it can create the sense of watching your life through a window. Some things that can help manage dissociative moments include grounding techniques, creating a personal crisis plan, or visualization. If you experience recurring and common dissociation, reaching out to a therapist can be the most effective way of helping yourself. Number four, hopelessness for the future. How do you feel about the future? An unfortunate consequence of trauma is feelings of hopelessness. For some survivors, the impact of distressing moments can alter perspectives on life, both in the present and for the future. This may prevent you from engaging in certain activities or taking risks. Hopelessness may also intertwine with feelings of depression and despair. Number five, emotional dysregulation. Emotional dysregulation refers to an inability or poor management of emotional responses, which can include fear, sadness, and frustration. During a stressful or distressing period, it can become difficult to assess whether your emotional response is proportionate to its cause. If this is the case for you, taking a deep breath before assessing the situation can be helpful. While this may sound overly simple, giving yourself that time to breathe can be useful as you work towards analyzing the situation at hand. A good rule of thumb here is to treat yourself as you would treat others. If you would offer others in your position empathy and patience, it's important to have that same approach for yourself. And number six, physical manifestations. Have you been experiencing blurry visions or physical pain in your body? According to a 2014 guide as part of the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Service Administration, an unexpected symptom of trauma is somatization. However, physical manifestations of a mental health illness are not uncommon. In fact, such a symptom can be present in those who have bipolar disorder, anxiety disorders, depression, and PTSD. These physical symptoms can vary for each person, but some survivors report experiencing blurry visions, tinnitus, and pain. If you experience similar symptoms, please consult your doctor for help. So there you have it, six things trauma survivors can relate to. Do you relate to any of these signs? Comment below. Trauma can make you feel afraid and alone, but you're not alone. There are people who have experienced similar consequences of trauma and who therefore understand you and are willing to listen. Reaching out for help from a licensed professional can be daunting and scary, but it's the first step to getting the additional help you deserve. We hope today's video helped shine some light on the effects of trauma. If you found it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to Psych2Go if you haven't already. And as always, thanks so much for watching.